hey guys what's up Mike Sharma over here and today I'm going to show you how to stream media from any Android device directly into your VLC media player let's go so guys this is my second video on streaming the first one is right over here and in this video I show how to stream media from your Samsung device to your computer but today I'm going to show you how to stream media from any Android device directly into your VLC media player but this one is my personal favorite because in this you can stream media from your computer to your Android device so that's one right let's start so for streaming from any Android device first of all you need VLC media player to download VLC media player just go to Google and type VLC you can download the VLC media player from VLC official site it's a 22 MB software just download it and install it so I've downloaded VLC media player before so I'm just gonna run it and when you run VLC media player in the toolbar you can see there is an option for view in view you'll see add interface you have to just click on web interface and the second application now that you need is on your Android device so let's move to Android so now we need an application that's going to stream media from our Android device to our computer. So the application can be downloaded from the Play Store. Just go to Play Store and search for VLC Direct Pro. Uh, the first app as you can see is from Remote and Video Streaming Develops. Just download it and install it. It's a small application of just 2 MB. So just wait for it to download and if you remember that uh, the settings that we just did on our VLC media player is going to be detected by this application so now open the application and when you open this application for the first time it will show what's new in this application so just skip it and now it will just uh, show an ad pop-up just close this ad and now it says before you can start streaming videos music and photos VLC Direct needs to connect to VLC Player installed in Windows or Mac. So, if you remember that uh, I just uh, allowed an interface, the web interface, if you remember. So, just hit Next. And if you have Mac, just click I have VLC in Linux or Mac. If you have Windows, click I have VLC in Windows. So, I have Windows, I just click on Windows and hit Done now it will scan for VLC and this error can come sometimes it does not recognize so just click again on automatic connection wizard now it says that it's found VLC and as you can see on the computer screen it says connected so now close these tips and on the top first of all in the interface on the top you can see there is target VLC this means that whenever you're going you're going to select any media from this these tabs the list is uh, the media is going to be played on the VLC media player on your computer so if I change this to target Android now if the app uh, if I play any media it's going to be played on my Android device so first let me show you how to stream it to a uh, computer so I'm going to just stream any video. This is a video that I created using Fume FX. This is a flamethrower. This is an explosion. So as you can see now I can stream any video, any music if I want. So even music can be streamed. And here are the controls for the VLC media player. And in this tab uh, where there is a little computer you can see all the files and drives that are on your computer so if I go to any drive any media that I want to stream suppose if I want to play a movie I'll just click on the movie and the video will be played on the VLC media player on your computer just because the target is VLC on your computer but if you change this target to Android and now if you play the video the video will be played on your Android device. So as you can see, the video is playing 
on my Android device. This feature is pretty unique about this, which was not in the uh, streaming of Samsung devices. And as you can see, it buffers really very fast. This application is pretty good if you want to stream media from your computer to your Android. And this even saves the efforts of copying your movie, song or video, anything that you want to watch to your Android device and then watch it. So it's pretty nice that you can just stream from your Windows and your Mac. Thanks for watching guys. Like this video if you like this. Share it with your friends if you think it will benefit them. And subscribe because it's free. Till the next video, sayonara.